How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the overlays that are offered on stream elements and how you can kind of do some customization to it. Now, I'm not going to be going into deep detail on how you can mess around with different stuff in the editor or how you can bring your own stuff in if you have your own type of graphics. If you're looking for a video like that, definitely let me know inside the comment section below. And if there's enough requests for it, I'll try to go ahead and make a video for it. But this right now is just to show you guys how to bring ones that are already made for you. And this is really directed towards beginning streamers or people who just don't have any graphics of their own and how you can really benefit from Stream Elements' overlay system. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the themes gallery and find a theme that you like. Once you find one, just go ahead and preview it. And you're gonna to try to see what it all is gonna offer. So this one is gonna give you a lot of animation. It's gonna be really eye-catching, popping colors and stuff like that. It's gonna really grab people's attention. That's why I love this one. So once you do find one you like, go ahead and click on create my overlay. And what it's gonna do is bring you into the my overlay section. So in this area, you guys can see that I have my own type of overlay that I've created. I've created my own overlays and everything for graphic wise inside of Photoshop. So once I have that stuff, I just bring it into here by clicking on create blank overlay. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for the canvas size. So you're going to set it up for the size that you normally stream in. So if you do 1080p, then you're going to do 1920 by 1080p and everything like that, and you'll be able to then start customizing everything. But again, I'm not gonna be going into detail on how to import stuff and all that jazz. That's a separate video if you guys really need a video for it. What we're gonna look at here is this right here. So there's gonna be five different scenes. So if you're not gonna be using, say, the stream ending, then you're only gonna have four scenes. Before I get any further though, I wanna make sure you guys understand what a browser source is. Now I have a video that goes over this, it's very simple to do, but I'm gonna link that in the card above and in the video description below. However, browser source basically just means you're gonna take a link from a website and you're gonna put it into your encoder, whether that's XSplit, OBS Studio, or Streamlabs, and you're gonna use that link as a way to show something onto the onto that actual scene that you're trying to work with. So for each one of these, it's gonna have their own link. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just click on the three dots, copy the copy the link there. And if you're wanting to see what size everything is, you can click on properties and it will tell you right here. So it's 1080p. If you need to change it, you can always change it as well. That way you're getting everything set up before you start your edits. So once you have everything ready, then we're gonna go ahead and click on edit. Now this will open up the actual editor for the overlay and you can see everything right here. So some things are visible, some things are not, which is why I wanna kinda of talk to you guys quickly about it. Now this, everything on the side here is like a layer system and each one of them has their own different characteristics. And if you're wanting to find where something is based on the ones that's already been pre-made for you, you can click on any of the icons. So say for example, I wanna find out where this whole thing is. So I'll click on like say the Instagram and it just highlighted the social edits here area. So if I click on the arrow, it's gonna drop down, it's gonna give me all of this information here. So this is where everything's gonna be found. Now, if you're unfamiliar with like certain icons here, the little lock means that it can either be locked or unlocked, it means the layer can either be messed with or not messed with. And then for the eyeball means it would be visible or not visible. So if, as for example, this webcam here, if I click on the webcam, it's gonna then, you know, be something I can move around, right? But the webcam itself is also not visible. So if I wanna make that webcam visible, I just, you know, click on the eyeball and then I can still move it around if I wanna have it like say right here instead. But then if I don't want the 16 by nine, I just click on the eyeball and now that one's not able to be seen and I can move the stuff around. Now you can you can move this around just by going like this or you, know, you can mess with this here. Now, if you have this turned on, I have it turned off, but the snapping grid. So if it's like something that's in the way and it's causing problems, just, just get rid of it. And it makes it so much easier to move stuff around. But this, behind here is all the grid. So it might start trying to snap the stuff. And you can use the arrow keys to move around to make things a little bit easier if you need to like fine tune stuff. 
and everything like that. And that can be used on practically everything in the editor. This right here is my alert box and that I can also resize and move around and everything like that too. Now some things might have a prefix size that might not be able to be changed, but you guys really shouldn't have to worry about messing around with too many things. Everything should be, you know, very quick and easy for you since most of this is already set up. But if you don't want something like say you don't want this top bar, you can take this whole group and just hide the entire group and that way it doesn't get visible. But let's say you wanted to move this up there. You just click and drag and move it however you want and there you go. Now the information, like the actual like data that gets pulled through, if you don't see anything, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your account set up with stream elements and that you have the stream elements bot inside of your actual like chat and everything and that you make it a moderator. That should, in the future, bring some of the information over. But if you have any problems with that, um, you guys can let me know and I'll see if I can find a way to help you out with that too. Um, but once you guys have everything set up, then you can try to test it. So this is also something that you'll be able to do with the regular version if you're trying to you know, add your own type of graphics. That's what I mean by regular version. Um, but basically you just click on emulate and you can go and emulate any of these things here as long as they're up there or set up for your alerts. If you're wanting to add extra things, you can just add some extra stuff here and that way you can start filling in everything there. Again, I don't wanna go into too much detail on all of the elements, but once you have however you want it, go ahead and click on save and you're gonna to wanna to click on this right here so that way you can then copy the link to bring into your OBS. So I'm gonna click save, grab the link, we're gonna go into OBS and we're gonna click on the plus, browser source, give it a name and we're gonna paste it now, what you want to do is make sure you set it up to the canvas size. So that was 1920 by 1080. And we'll click enter. Now, if you get something like this, don't panic. Everything's fine. Just make sure this is highlighted. And then what you're going to do is control F and it will resize it to the canvas. So that way everything is fine. And everything should look how you want it, but let's say you want to move something around. Like, see how this webcam's not centered? Maybe that bothers you. So what you're going to want to do is either click on the properties or right click and go to properties. And then you can click on the open in stream elements overlay editor. Once you do this, then you can go in here, just make these changes real quick. Just highlight what you want, move stuff over, and then click on save, close the editor, click on okay. And then you can see that it instantly made the changes. Very simple to do. Everything's on one link. This is what I love about the whole stream elements thing because you have everything on one link. So that can be your alerts. It could be a chat box. It could be all your stream labels. It could be so much stuff just on a single link versus having one image, then having your stream label for this, another stream label for that, you know, four different stream labels and then maybe four different images if you don't have them all on one image. And then you have one for your webcam box, you have a text over here, then you have your webcam and you have your game and so many other things just getting thrown in there. It's just so much stuff. So to kind of give you guys an example, whenever I'm on my just chatting, I literally have just four things here. I have my camera, I have my overlay, which is literally everything. As you guys can see, it's literally everything. And stickers, that was back whenever we were actually using them, so those don't actually count. So then and I have that little widget down here. So I technically just have three things that run versus having, you know, overlay and then having a chat box that would have been an extra one. And then, you know, having the webcam there and then having this here. So technically it still would have been four. But as you can see, it's just it's just so much easier to have everything on one. But Hopefully that kind of gives you guys a good idea of how all of this can work with uh, stream elements. And if you guys have any questions about it, or if you're wanting more in-depth videos, like a complete rundown of the editor or how to make like bring your own pre-made graphics in and everything like that, I can definitely make a video on that if it's got enough people requesting it because that video is going to be super long. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. That video will be very long compared to this one. And that one might even be better as an as a live stream workshop, to be honest, because there's so many different things to talk about. And I want to make sure I cover as much as I can. 
Uh, but let me know in the comment section below if you guys want a video like that or if you'd prefer to have it as a live workshop. And I can try to see if I can get that uh, scheduled in. But um, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are looking for more tech stuff, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Click the bell icon. And I will see you guys in a future stream over on Twitch or I'll see you guys here over on YouTube. But uh, thank you guys again for watching. And I'll catch y'all soon.